Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review. So I know that we are in the Stellar Night, you know, going over all the Stellar Night cards, but I actually came across this beauty again, and I totally forgot that I never uh, talked about it. And as a Constellar player, I should probably talk about this card. So today we are looking at Constellar Tempest. So right now it's an OCG card, but you know, it might come out here in the, you know, in the TCG next pack, I think, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. It was in, uh, what set was it in? I don't know what set it was in. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it was an OCG, I know right now it's an OCG card, and, you know, I know it made an appearance in the anime, you know, because there's actually a guy who used Constellars in the anime, and he would have beat, uh, he would have beat uh, Yuya if he didn't misplay. He misplayed and he bounced the wrong card with Pleiades. But if he didn't misplay, and you know, as a Kazella player, I was like, yeah, you misplayed. He would have definitely had him beat. But, you know, so I was showing you can't have the main character losing like that. So, yeah, but it was just cool to see Constellas make an appearance in the anime. So now I can finally say, oh, okay, Constellas are in the anime. It's awesome. So he actually played this card, which Constellas never had before. So it's a new card. And I guess apparently Konami decided to make it into an actual card. So I'm going to go over it today. I'm going to give my opinion about it. You know, because some people are saying, like, oh, it's a really good card. And then some people are like, eh, eh, eh. So let's go ahead and go over it. So Constellar Tempest is a continuous spell card. So it's always on the field. It says, during your end phase... You can target two Constellar XC monsters you control that have XC materials. Detach all XC materials from those two XC monsters. And if you do, have your opponent's life points. You can only use this effect of Constellar Tempest once per duel. I would probably never use that effect. You know, as a Constellar player, I really feel like the XC materials on the Constellar monsters are very, very important. Pleiades, those are bounces. Omegas, those are blocks. M7, those are either bounces or returns, you know, those, that could be a detach and get something back in the graveyard. So, to rip off all the attachments on two Constellar, it has to be two. You can target two Constellar XC monsters. So that means that I either have a uh, Pleiades and Omega or a M7 and a Ple or something. And that I am ripping off their attachments to have my opponent's life points? Like, no, no. I'd rather keep my material. I can I can do more damage with two Constellar monsters with XC material than half of my opponent's life points. Definitely. So I am not a big fan of that effect. I I think that effect is kind of dumb. And you know to have it like that and then have you know if it was like do four thousand to your opponent, then we might talk. But half half could be anything. My opponent could be a. 100 life points left. I'm going to detach all my XC materials while I'm about to win this duel for 50? Like, no, 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 no. Half, half ain't, half ain't enough. I, I, I need 4,000 for me to even consider even pulling off that plate. Not half. Half could be anything. Half could be new. Alright? That's like solemn judgment. You know, like, well, you know, solemn judgment, you, you pay 4,000 life points to get a card at the beginning of the duel. But if it's at the end game, it's like, it's like you know, at end game, I could pay 200 life points for to negate it, almost anything. So, you know, uh, I was going to say half, no. You know, 4,000, we talk, we talk, because 4,000, that, that, that's a nice chunk, that's a nice chunk. But half, that could be, that could be anything. That, and that's not game. That's not game. You know, if I could go, like, you know, have Omega and Pleiades, and I can go attack, attack. Activate this during my end phase, rip off all the attachments, burn you for 5,000, GG, then we talk. But no, not half. But this card has a second effect. That was actually, I believe that was actually the anime effect. So they decided to go ahead and tack on another effect on this card just to make it a little bit maybe more convincing. So it reads During your standby phase, you could target one Constellar XC monster you control and one. Uh, Constellar Knight monster in your graveyard, attach that monster in the graveyard to that XC monster as an XC material. So, aka, put shit on Pleiades. So, during my standby phase, attach Pleiades, detach, bounce. Attach, detach, bounce. The problem is, is that the majority of the bounces in the part with Pleiades gets really scary is bouncing on your opponent's turn. If it was, like, equipped during your opponent's turn, that'd be kind of scary, but I guess you're supposed to just hold on to your material. That effect's not too terrible. It's not too terrible. Being able to keep on fueling your Pleiades, it's fine, I guess, but... You just don't get any bang for your buck with this card. It's a neg one. I mean, 
Activating continuous spells are a neg one, and you know, what am I really getting for? I activate this card, and then I gotta wait a whole turn before I get to go ahead and put an exceed material on? Like, man, that is, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a neg one. It's a neg one, and the only way that you and what if you don't have any Castellar XC monsters on the field at the time? Then you're not doing shit with this card. Like, you know, I can, you know, you can pump out a please just as much as the next guy, but um, it's just yeah. And and I and I like how it says that you had you take a Castellar monster from the graveyard to and attack it. So it's not like you know. They have burning abyss whatever it is. It's not like they can rank up in the please and just keep attaching and detaching. No, no, it has to be a Constellar monster, so it's just for Constellas. So, I mean, I guess that one's not too terrible. It's just I gotta wait a while, and and because I have to wait a while, and that neg one, it's just ah. Uh, mm. Like I said, Constellas have consistency issues. You know, there's only four good Constellas. I mean, you got Pollux, Cost. Algadian Sombre, and I don't even consider Sheraton, so I'd say, you know, with that, you may not open up, and, you, and there's some monsters, you, and like I said, there's not even some Constella monsters you won't even put materials on, I mean, Omega, yeah, you know, you don't need to keep putting materials on Omega, uh, M7, M7's okay, you know, you can go during the standout phase, put the 16 material on M7, M7 effect, detach, put... Take something from my graveyard, put it back in my hand, or bounce one of your cards. So that one's not too terrible. Are there any other Constella monsters that are seen? There is. That one level rank 3 guy. No one gives a shit about him. I hate. It's just those three. And, you know, it's just kind of meh. That's kind of that's how I feel with this card. Meh. Would I play it? No. Nah, it's not. I don't need it. I don't need it, my Constellas. Nah. It's fine. If I use my Pleiades bounces wisely, I can beat you, and I can make another Pleiades if I need to bounce some more, so. It's not necessary to have to wait a whole entire turn, neg one my hand, to wait an entire turn to to equip. And how many of these would you even play? One? Two? Three? What, I don't have any. You know, one if that, but then you may not even see it, and once again, the opportunity of dead drawing this is pretty high. Yeah, so. That's just how I feel about it. So, tell me what you guys think about this uh, Constellar Tempest. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.